Hi, this is Mark Laughlin with the Ambidextra Gunfighter. Doing a little testing on flash hiders. What I want to see is, um, for example, this Keltec RDB has a 20 inch barrel. Now, is it better to have a 20 inch barrel with no flash hider than it is to have a, say, a 16 inch barrel with a flash hider? That's something I've been pondering for a bit, and so I want to do a little bit of testing. Because it seems to me like, okay, if I'm if I say I've got a 16-inch barrel on this Keltec RDB, and I'm thinking, hey, I'm gonna put a flash hider on it, that's gonna add two inches to the length of it, so it'll be 18 inches long instead of 16, which is tighter and closer behind cover and all that cool stuff, that tactical stuff. But why not just add Instead of adding just two inches of barrel length for a flash hider, add four inches and, uh, and, and see how much flash reduction we get from four inches of extra barrel with the added benefit that we get additional velocity out of the 5.56 cartridge. In fact, uh, as I understand it, a uh, 20 inch barrel, maybe a little bit more than 20 inch, will deliver hydrostatic shock out to beyond 200 yards, whereas a 16 inch barrel and, a, and maybe 14 inch is about 120, 100 to 125 yards. So there's advantages to having just a longer barrel and disadvantages to the flash hider because it adds length to the barrel that's other than reducing flash signature, it's uh, extending the overall length so it's harder to, to stay behind cover. Then to top it off, uh, doing uh, load testing, uh, tried, uh, it's another video where I did, uh, tried 55, 62, and 75 grain uh, bullets in this uh, RDB. And what I found was with the flash hider on here, there was a huge difference in uh, the elevation zero. Uh, for example, the 55 grain, if I zeroed it the, with the 55 grain with the flash hider on, then I ended up with um, the 62 grain was about 8 minutes of angle uh, low, and I think the 75 grain was like 10 minutes of angle low. Uh, but, but if I took the flash hider off and zeroed with 55 grain, they all pretty much all just lined right up. So it's like something to do with this flash hider. Maybe it's just the flash hider's uh, in, its interaction with the pencil barrel. Maybe it's too much weight because that is three ounces. That's a, a little bit of weight out there on the end. And we've got this, uh, this pencil barrel that maybe is kind of doing the little flexy thing as a, a bullet r races out the end of the barrel. And uh, so uh, maybe we get a more consistent uh, fluctuation in the barrel without the flash hider on there. And then, as we can see in this testing here, this late evening testing, comparing a muzzle flash with the Keltec RDB 20 inch barrel versus the 16 inch uh, BCM Recce with a, a uh, just a birdcage flash hider on it. But that 16 inch Recce, it was like a massive fireball. I would see it right in my face every time it lit off uh, right in the ACOG, this big massive flash. And I caught that on videos, pretty, pretty spectacular. Whereas the 20 inch barrel without a flash hider had very minimal flash. Now by putting the flash hider back on, I could reduce the flash signature even a little bit more. But it was already easily a tenth or a twentieth the size of the flash of the 16 inch barrel rec, the AR-15. So I'm starting to wonder why the hell do I have one of these on my rifle? Why don't I just keep it off? The flash signature is minimal in a 20 inch barrel. Uh, it's fucking up with my zero if I switch, you know, bullet weights as far as ammo. Um, yeah, it looks cool. And I suppose it helps protect the muzzle a little bit. Um, but I just don't see what, why I want to just have a, a, like we used to do in the old days, just a, what is that, a, an inset crown or a reverse crown where the crown was inset a little bit, like an eighth of an inch from the end of the muzzle. And uh, yeah, I remember having an AR-15 uh, AR with a 24 inch barrel back in the day. I think it was an H-bar, a Colt H-bar. And uh, it had no flag signature to, flash signature to speak of either. So I don't know. What do you think? Flash suppressor, yes or no? 
And well, maybe it should. Maybe I should make the question a little more detailed. Flash suppressor, yes or no, on pencil barrels? I'm saying no. Flash suppressor on a, a flash hider on a medium-sized barrel? Maybe okay. Maybe if I had a rec an AR-15 with a 20-inch barrel, and then put a flash hider on it, it would be fine. And maybe my zero would stay all the same. But uh, at this point, no flash hiders on pencil barrels. I get better accuracy and enough reduction and flash signature with the added barrel length over the AR-15 that I see why bother. And now I'm really all I'm thinking of now is what what can I come up with that's cool <laughs> so it doesn't have to have these you know I don't have to run around with just exposed my th bare threads on there. Uh, you know I'm thinking you know get rid of this lock nut but um, you know something that you know besides just a stupid boring you know thread protector maybe there's something that you know looks a little bit cooler maybe weighs a lot less I don't know if titanium something or something another you know maybe a little bit prettier but not adding much to the overall length but maybe a little bit a tiny of a bit of a, you know compensator and flash hider or whatever I don't know but any uh, suggestions post them down in the comment section it's Mark Laughlin with Ambidextral Gunfighter thanks for watching please like share and subscribe